You may or may not be aware of an ongoing crisis around microchips and semiconductor chips in the world today. It's due a lot to the, go the ongoing global pandemic and a lot to do with cross-Pacific trade tensions at the same time, but it's certainly causing a great deal of disruption when it comes to electronics. Microchips and semiconductor chips are vital pieces in electronics. Almost every piece of electronics that's smarter than a toaster that you will have in your house today contains a semiconductor chip and a global shortage due to all these factors is causing problems but also opportunities. Good afternoon, my name's Alistair Babastock. I'm the Mexico correspondent for CGTN and you find us here today in Guadalajara where we're looking more closely at Mexico as a country's opportunities in this sector. And we're here with Ramon Parramichel. He's the director here at Sinvestav, part of the Instituto Politecnico Nacional. And we're talking a bit more about this issue. So Ramon, thank you so much for joining thank us. You, thank you, Alice. So sharing. just for our audience, please explain to us what exactly is a semiconductor chip? Okay, yeah, a semiconductor or an integrated circuit is basically a, a bunch of transistors uh, connected together to make a particular function in practically any electronic device. And there's a global shortage going on right. at the moment. So what sort of impact is this having? Well, uh, as the impact is that we are not allowed to, uh, to buy many of the products that we usually do, uh, mainly because uh, there is not enough chips for supporting the, uh, the chain of uh, producers. So, uh, yeah, there is a, an important so shortage. That so this is a problem that's really affecting Mexico at the moment, because Mexico may not be currently manufacturing chips. It is very heavy when it comes to manufacturing other things which need those chips, particularly the automotive industry. Indeed, Mexico's car exports so far in 2021 are down by nearly 5%. That's a lot of cars when it comes to the total volume. But that's okay. something which you have a project here in this institute which you're aiming to solve. Well, uh, we are aiming to solve part of the problem. We are here with a project uh, that is named Jalisco on Chip. And we have the intention of providing uh, services for uh, design and, and verification of integrated circuits uh, both at the level of pre-silicon and post-silicon validation. Okay, so Mexico has potential in this area, but just how much infrastructure is there? What's, what's needed to, to, um, to really boost this industry in this country? We need to make a, a really uh, a very big effort in producing more human resources because uh, there is a, also a short of interest in new, uh, in new students in becoming engineers. Right now we have a, a shortage of uh, more or less 10,000 engineers in the software side and more or less 4,000 engineers uh, in the electronic area. So we need to put a, a very big effort in producing new human resources. When it comes to semiconductor chips, when it comes to microchips and these vital components of all of our ele electronic systems these days, this is going to be an industry which is only going to grow. Right. Uh, this is uh, I, I will say that this is the industry that dominates the value of the of the economics in all around the world. And for instance, just uh, for giving an example, uh, right now the cost of, of, uh, of a car uh, is related to electronics in only 5%. But as the cars are becoming more and, and more electronic based, the knowledge that the cost of the vehicle will be like 30 to 40% just uh, in the cost of the electronic that is inside the car, And I mean, yeah, so like self-driving cars, that sort of thing. That's right. Yeah, so this is an industry which needs investment and Mexico has a big opportunity here. Yeah, because uh, uh, you know that Jalisco is very well known for for uh, hosted uh, uh, many of the, of the big companies. We uh, were called even the Silicon Valley of, of Mexico. Uh, and be, well, very well located. We are just uh, two or three hours from Austin or, or California. So uh, I think that there is a, a great opportunity for Mexico and for the state of Jalisco. I think that there is a big opportunity for Mexico to become part of this big industry. So this is a real issue which is going to continue to dominate the industry for the, uh, for the coming years. Semiconductor chips, microchips, as more and more of our power, as more and more technological advancements occur, these components which 
currently China dominates the manufacture of, are becoming more and more important. And other countries around the world, the United States, Korea, Japan, have all announced large investments in this area. But it's other countries with the human resources and the know-how, like Mexico, inside that free trade area of North America, which are going to continue to try to bring investment and develop their own industries in this vitally important area of electronics. So thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Alistair Babastock reporting here for CGTN in Guadalajara, Mexico.